Alicia Rashad. The new movie is called For Colored Girls. I want to take you back to the play version. And I know since you've been in theatrics for a long time, you had to have seen this at some point in time in your life. So the comparison. I know tons of women that have seen the play. Mm -hmm. uh, what will they think if they've seen the play and now they see the movie? This is not uh, a filming of the stage production. That was done in 1982. Oh, actually, it was 1974, 75. Right. This is, yeah, oh, I see what you yeah, say. The release yes, of it, yeah. Yes, that, that was for PBS. Right. You, yeah. No, this is not that. This is an adaptation. Okay. This is an adaptation of the, uh, of the poetry, I would say, and the concept in that they're women, you know. Um, but Tyler Perry has created a script in which the women, uh, they wear the colors, the colors subtly, but they have names and they have lives and they have whole life stories. And this is the beauty of film. Things open up and you can see them. And yet, the poetry remains. It's really amazing the way he's married the two. I do think that was pretty good. I was wondering how he was going to work all that out. Your character, Miss Gilda, mm -hmm. um, was she one of the original characters or is that a character he kind of invented? He created her. Right. <laughs> I can kind of tell because your character's been through a lot and you're trying to help these ladies go through what they're going through. Is that, is that kind of what you envision, that she's lived her life and hasn't always made the right decisions, but well, she yeah, survived? Yeah, she, she, the way I, I didn't even, as an actor, you know, you make your choices. Because it's interesting, people will see what they see, okay? And my choice was to love Crystal. My thinking was, Gilda doesn't have children. I know, isn't it something? <laughs> Gilda doesn't have children, but if there was a child that she could have had, Crystal would have been her child. She loves her like that. Now that other one, <laughs> that tangent, I don't know about that one. Uh, there's some fun characters in there. I think people will get into it. How do you think men are going to like this film? It's interesting how a lot of men do it. You know, some men think that it's male bashing, but it really isn't. If you look very carefully at this film, um, the man who really does the most unspeakable thing uh, isn't presented as an unspeakable person. He is a man who is broken. And those services and systems that should be in place to help put him back together are not serving him. They're not there for him. And this woman is trying to help put him back together, and she's not equipped to do that. Mm -hmm. So you would uh, you give uh, Tyler uh, 10 stars for what he's done with it overall? I, I, I thought he did a really good job. I'd give him 12. Yeah, really? Yeah, I'd give him 12. That's it's good. a plus. No, he did. He really did a, a really good job, and, and he did incorporate some of the things that he does in his films. But mm -hmm. I thought that he, I thought he did yeah, a good job. Yeah, he did. He did. Well, he's, he's a very intelligent person. You, 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 when you spend time with him, you, you see the deliberation in his thought. He, he has. I can't think of anyone else who could have done this. What he's done, I can't think of anyone else. Who, who could have done this, you know, I just, just can't. And, and he really wanted to honor this work that means so much to so many women. He wanted to honor that work, and I think that he has. 12 stars worth of it. Thank you very, very much. I know you're moving along quickly, but we appreciate you being back in D.C.